What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. My name is Kenny if you don't know me. Welcome to this 100,000 steps in five days video. So I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of step challenge videos. Actually, I don't know if there's a ton of them out there, but I remember seeing a step challenge video from Will Tennyson. So thank you to Will for inspiring this video. And uh, so my goal here is to try to get 100,000 steps in five days. Now, it can be over 100,000 steps, but ideally I'm trying to get 20,000 steps or more, but not too much more because I want to keep it and see the results with being close to 20,000 per day minimum. And uh, for that, I'm actually going to be tracking my steps using my phone. I don't have an Apple Watch. I didn't want to get one for this video. Um, so I'm going to be using my phone. So my phone's going to have, have to be on me at all times. Now I'm actually, interestingly enough, filming this intro after the challenge. So I won't tell you if I did it or not, if I was successful or not. You're going to have to tune into the video to watch it. Why would I make a video like this? So the whole point of making this video, guys, is to show you a few things. One, set a goal. Try to achieve that goal no matter what happens. And also set goals that are realistic. This is 100,000 steps in five days. Some of, you, some of you might be thinking, that's not even that hard. That's not that bad. And the truth is, yeah, it's not that bad. What would be the point of me setting, you know, a 100,000 steps in one day. I'm not really trying to make this an extreme step challenge. Well, I normally take about 10,000 steps per day. Um, that was as of recent, about a couple weeks ago. And now I'm trying to up it by double. So it's to set a goal and to set a realistic goal. Um, you want to set goals, guys, that are basically going to be attainable. And then you may have a long-term goal of something that's bigger but you wanna take small steps to get there. So that's what I'm trying to show in this video. Second thing I'm trying to show in this video is really that stepping and steps, getting your steps in is really underrated. Um, it's something that I honestly thought was pretty underrated too, um, but it actually, throughout this video, you'll see it actually does make quite a big difference. It is very underrated. One of the big things about this video that's actually a little different for me is I'm on a diet right now when I'm doing this video and I will not increase my calories. I'm gonna keep my diet calories the same even though I'm upping all of my steps. Now I am not doing any other form of cardio, just the steps because that brings me to another point. I'm also trying to do this in a way that is not gonna get me injured. So it all, all kind of comes back to setting a goal that's realistic and change takes time, things take time. And hopefully by setting this, this is double the amount of steps I take. It's still a challenge, it's still gonna be tough. It was a tough challenge in its own right. And it was done in a way that's smart, that gives my body enough time um, to potentially be able to do an even bigger challenge. In the future, maybe I'll try 100,000 steps in four days, in three days, we'll see. But this is a great start. Um, so it builds upon that idea. Um, so I think I covered most of the things I want to say. For recovery, I'm going to be doing some stretching. And also, big thing is I'm going to be using this. Now I found, I found um, I think I got this one from Amazon. Um, and you can get these from uh, many different places. There's so many different versions of it. So the main focus of this is really to use it on my calves. And... Uh, also on my on my leg, just my legs in general. Um, now I found that this really made the upper part of my calves sore and kind of towards the inner, but I guess it really depends how you walk. That's what is really gonna determine how sore your calves are and maybe some other factors, who knows. And also one of these, it's a lacrosse ball. So I use this to massage my feet. So it's important, stretching this, this massage gun and the lacrosse ball stay healthy. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is hopefully one of a few different step challenges that I'll do. We're starting small. We're just trying to see how um, this can be beneficial. And uh, I really did find it to be beneficial just to kind of sum it up. And walking is very underrated, guys. So I hope what you take away from this video is that you don't necessarily have to um, 
do 20,000 steps a day, but whatever you're doing right now, if you can do a little bit more, if you can start keeping in mind, making small changes, increasing your daily activity just a little bit. The one thing that I actually found very beneficial with this is that it does not make you that much hungrier. Um, stepping, for some reason, didn't make me that much hungrier. So being on this diet, uh, you're gonna see the results. It really wasn't that hard in terms of sticking to my diet calories, which I don't know, for some of you, that may be uh, a nice useful tactic um, in dieting. Um, I found other forms of cardio can tend to make me a lot more hungry so that's a uh, one big positive that I noticed on this so I really hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, let's see if I get these steps in okay so this is day one this is the physique This is first thing in the morning. I haven't had anything to drink, anything to eat right out of bed. Now I'm gonna show you guys the way in. Okay, so 148.1. And that was without the phone. So this is the starting point, day one. And uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting to see what I look like at the end of this. All right, so day one, and this is the first walk of the day. So I'm gonna be sticking to the neighborhood today. Um, <clears throat> on some other walks, I'm gonna try to hit uh, some parks and uh, explore a little bit, change up the scenery, and uh, get more of nature. I'm gonna walk around maybe for like an hour, hour and a half. It's almost eight o'clock right now, and I'm just gonna throw a, a podcast in, um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, just get going and just get this challenge started. All right, let's do this. It's kind of hard to tell on uh, video here, but I'm currently walking up a massive well, I, I shouldn't say massive, but a pretty long hill. Uh, just saw a frog. It's kind of scared the life out of me, but gotta keep going. We're on day two here. So my, uh, my legs are a lot more sore than I thought they'd be. But the day before day one, I actually did a leg workout, so I think it's just kind of compounding on that. But also, even without that leg workout, I still think it would have been uh, sore for sure. Um, so, I noticed that my pace for day two is definitely a lot slower than uh, day one, and quite considerably. Um, but I'm not too sure if that's more so based on um, being mental even so much so physically but this challenge I mean is not seeming like it's going to be impossible you definitely have to be pretty conscious of um, like thinking to get your steps in for the day and having a plan to get it in but a good long walk in the morning and then I do some stuff on the treadmill after my workout and then another two two shorter walks usually gets it done so I mean I don't know how much of this I would keep up after but day two and I'm feeling okay so let's try to knock out a good 10,000 steps in this walk.
but if it works, it works. What's up guys? So today's the second last day of this challenge. And um, you know, I really hope that this video inspires you guys and it's honestly moments like these. So I was out today for most of the day and I didn't really get any steps in. And I got home. By the time I got to the gym, it was about eight o'clock. And keep in mind, I was out all day. But what I was doing involved uh, being in the car uh, for most of the time. And so as a result, I couldn't really do a ton of steps. I just hit my 20,000 and guys, it took me two hours on the treadmill and I was cooking it. I was cooking it on the treadmill and, um, but there was no way that I was giving up on this goal. I said I wanted to do this. So, and I think that just builds so much, um, starting to look a little bit leaner there, but, um, it just builds so much discipline, guys, when you can really set your word and, and follow through with it, even when things get tough. For this challenge, everything's been pretty simple, but that's because I had the whole day usually to plan um, to basically get my steps in. Um, this is a big win for me. It was a great push for me mentally to be able to um, to really get through this, to help you guys, hopefully, and to, to help me. And uh, we're in this together. And um, just one more day left. and. Um, we get to see the wins and we get to see the results and, um, I'm pretty excited. So I'll see you guys one more day. Almost there. Hey, what's up everyone? So that's it. We did it. So five days, hundred thousand steps, more than a hundred thousand steps in five days. And I'm having a nice celebratory meal here, um, to finish up the calories for the day. So I'm having some sirloin steak some chicken thighs with the general towel sauce on there that is homemade the chicken thighs and then on the side i've got some potatoes and carrots dipping sauce there the mustard so gonna enjoy this and that's it we did it so this is kind of tough not that a hundred thousand in five days is necessarily the hardest thing but i did it while in a in a deficit that definitely made it tough but dang this food especially this right here it's honestly looking pretty good i put a little bit extra salt on the steak to really be able to savor and enjoy this so that's it hundred thousand five days hey guys so i just want to do the weigh-in first so i'm going to set down the phone And here we go. So that's it. So you saw it there. 145.5. Now it's about 7 a.m. I believe this is close to the time that I weighed myself last time. So, I mean, you can definitely, from the scale, see that I'm lighter. But... You know, I don't know if the scale fully does it justice. Um, I definitely feel a lot leaner, definitely feel a lot lighter. And um, this was only five days. So, <sighs> honestly, it's pretty good results. Um, considering, you know, since I wasn't used to this, I did end up dropping any other kind of cardio that I was doing. So it was only walking that I was doing. Whereas before when I was doing around 10,000 steps before this challenge, I was also doing a little bit of cardio. So I'm really actually quite impressed with these results. So there you have it. I think this was well worth it. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. 100,000 steps, 
five days and hopefully just one of a few step challenges that I'll do. One big positive thing to take away from this, uh, guys, I, I think I've said it before, increasing your activity. You don't necessarily have to do 20,000 steps in a day, but what you're doing right now, if you were to try to improve, make small improvements, it goes a long way. Taking these steps really has shown me that one, it's really underrated. It really made me lose a bit of weight, which I know was probably not all fat, but it still helped me to lose weight. And a little bit of a diet hack for those out there is it doesn't really make you that much hungrier. So it's really not that stressful on the body. I came away injury free. Um, that's also because I didn't do a ton of steps right away. Obviously, if I were to jump into a big step challenge right away, I might've gotten injured, which is kind of how I planned this, right? Um, so it's a really great, great way to um, increase your activity without increasing your hunger, which is really great for fat loss. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.